my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Siena is a Gothic city, just about 40 miles south of Florence in Italy. It's still got its medieval look even to this day. It's believed to have been founded by the great Emperor Augustus during the time of the birth of Jesus Christ. The medieval walls protecting ancient buildings and the narrow lanes leading to one of the most beautiful city squares in the world, even to this day, Piazza del Campo. Siena has this beautiful natural beauty. It has got a prestigious university, but it is also the home to a wonderful saint whose feast we celebrate today, Saint Catherine of Siena. And it is also the home to one of the longest Eucharistic miracle that's active even to this day. It is in this town of Siena. Let me first reflect with you a little bit about the life of St. Catherine of Siena. She was born on, in the year 1347, on the 25th of March. She was the youngest of 25 children, a long family. From the very young age, she had gifts of vision. She was destined to be a saint blessed with mystical gifts of levitation she had the power of of exorcism healing she also lived on the eucharist for several years in fact the last seven years of her life she just had only the holy eucharist never for a moment she was low on energy the Holy Eucharist empowered her and strengthened her to go about her daily works, especially with compassion to the less fortunate. She was instrumental. She's known to influence the Holy Father to shift his papacy from Avignon in France back to Rome uh, in Italy. At, at one stage, there was two centers of the church, one at Avignon in France and the other one in Rome in Italy. But it was St. Catherine who was instrumental in influencing the Holy Father to get back to Rome and to shift the headquarters from Avignon back to Rome in Italy. She's also known as the doctor of the church. She died on the 29th of April in the year 1380. And that's how we celebrate her feast today. She was canonized a saint in the year 1461 and declared the doctor of the church very recently in the year 1970. Like I said, Siena is also the home to one of the longest ongoing Eucharistic miracle. So let me take you to the year 1730. On the eve of the feast of of Assumption, 14th of August. On the 14th of August in the Church of St. Francis, a thief stole a ciborium of consecrated Holy Eucharist. They discovered this on the Feast of Assumption on the 15th of August. The Franciscans realized that the ciborium of consecrated host was missing and the bishop suspended the celebration of the Feast of Assumption and a search went through the city for these consecrated Holy Eucharist. One discovered the consecrated Holy Eucharist in the Church of St. Mary when a bright light came from the collection box. Drawn to this bright light, they opened the collection box and there they found these consecrated hosts. And the priest realized that these consecrated hosts were dirty and, and because of the cobwebs and dirt in the collection box. So he decided to sort of leave these Holy Eucharist, consecrated Holy Eucharist, to naturally decompose. But to their surprise, even to this day, the Holy Eucharist 
has remained fresh and with a sweet smell. It is known as one of the longest ongoing Eucharistic miracle. Both St. Catherine of Siena and the Eucharistic miracle in Siena speaks about what the Gospel is talking about, that Jesus is the bread of life, that he, whoever eats of this flesh and drinks of this blood shall never die. And just like how the Israelites received manna in the wilderness as food for their journey towards the promised land, Jesus is that food for our journey. The Eucharist is our food for our journey as we march towards our eternal home, which is heaven, to be with God, our loving Father. We are all on this journey together, my dear friends. We are all pilgrims on this earth. And like the Eucharist that nourished St. Catherine, the Eucharist will nourish us in our journey of life, helping us to carry out the good works of Christ. And like the early church, bear witness to Christ wherever we are in whatever we do. Let's pray for that grace during this Eucharist. Amen.